Hello dear friends, I hope you have seen uh, the videos in which I told you how to spot the largest or the smallest fraction among a number of given fractions. I took up 4 fractions, then I took up 5 fractions also and I am sure you must have learned that method of finding the largest or smallest without using the concept of LCM and without even converting the fractions into decimals. Now to extend that trick, let us now take up some questions in which we are given three fractions. Like here I have taken four questions and in every question I have three fractions and we need to arrange them in either ascending order that is from smaller to larger or in the descending order that is from larger to smaller. The same trick applies here but a little bit of uh, you know uh, mastery over that concept is required to arrange them very easily without any paper and pen just in 5 to 6 seconds time. Very very handy trick for competitions and students at junior level they should learn these tricks right from the beginning so that when they appear in competitions they save a lot of time. Let's see the first one. Now see the question which I am taking is 2 by 3, 7 by 8 and 3 upon 5. Now I told you that we have to multiply the numerator of one fraction with the denominator of the other. So just compare first two and find out which is the larger among the first two. Just forget the last one. We will compare the first two only. Now see when you compare the first two, this is 2 into 8 which is 16 and this is 7 into 3 which is 21. And we all know that 21 is greater than 16. So how is 21 obtained? 21 is obtained by multiplying the numerator of this by the denominator of first. So the numerator, the fraction of which we have taken the numerator that is the larger fraction. So out of 7 by 8 and 2 by 3, 7 by 8 is the larger fraction because the numerator on cross multiplication with the other gives a larger product. So 2 into 8 is 16 and 7 into 3 is 21. So 21 is greater which is obtained by multiplying 7 by 3. So 7 by 8 is greater. So out of these two, this is greater. 7 by 8 is greater. Now let us compare this either first with the third or second with the third. Now this will give you the answer. Let's see how. See when I compare the second and third, 7 into 5 is 35 and 3 into 8 is 24. Now see 35 is greater and how is 35 obtained? It is obtained on multiplying the numerator 7 with denominator 5. So out of these two, this 7 by 8 is again greater. So 7 by 8 is greater than 3 by 5. Now see 7 by 8 was greater than 2 by 3 also and 7 by 8 is greater than 3 by 5 also. So we have obtained one result that out of these three fractions 7 by 8 is the largest. So we are arranging in descending order now. 7 by 8 is the largest. And what about the second one. For that you need to make the final comparison and that is to multiply 2 with 5. I am comparing the first and third fraction now. 2 and 5 they give you 10. 3 and 3 they give you 9. So 10 is greater which is obtained by multiplying this numerator with this. So this is greater than this. So 2 by 3 is greater and 3 by 5 is smaller. So 2 by 3 is greater and 3 by 5 is smallest among these three fractions thereby giving us the result that 7 by 8 is the greatest followed by 2 by 3 followed by 3 upon 5. A very very easy method just requires a practice of 10-20 minutes take 30-40 such questions and you will be able to arrange the three fractions in either ascending order or descending order. Let's apply this trick here. 
to solve one more question. This is 5 by 3, 8 by 5 and 9 by 7. Now I am comparing the first and second. Now see 5 into 5 is 25. You don't need to write these numbers. I am just write it, writing it just to tell you the steps in competitive exams. You can just watch and tell which is the greatest. So this is 25 and this is 8, 3 is 24. So out of 25 and 24, 25 is greater, which is obtained by multiplying this numerator with this. So 5 by 3 is greater than 8 by 5. So we have one result. Now compare 5 by 3 with 9 by 7. Now see 5 into 7 is 35 and 9 into 3 is 27. So 35 is greater. So again 5 into 7 is obtained, uh, you know the product of 5 and 7 is 35. So 5 by 3 is greater than 9 by 7 also. So we have the result that 5 by 3 is the greatest. So 5 by 3 comes first followed by now we need to make a comparison between the second one and the third one. How do we do that? Again do the same procedure. 8 7 is 56. So we have a 56 here, 9 5 is a 45, so 56 is greater, means 8 into 7 56 means 8 by 5 is greater. So we have 8 by 5 as the second and 9 by 7 is as the third. So this is the order in which the three fractions have to be arranged. <coughs> Friends, let me tell you one more simple thing here. Even if you don't remember which one is, you know, which numerator is to be considered, you can just see the product here 5 into 5. I am writing on the left hand side, I will take the numerator of this 5 and 5, 25. On the right hand side, 8 into 3, 24. So if you have the greater product here on the left side, then the left fraction will be greater. If you have, so like here, you had this 21 which is greater than 16. So on the right side, 7 by 8 is greater than 2 by 3. So you can remember that way also. It all depends on, on how you comprehend the concept well. So let's see the third one. Here we have 7 by 4, 9 by 5 and 11 by 7. Let's compare the first two fractions. 7 into 5 is 35. I always go by first fraction first, the numerator of first multiplied by the denominator of second. So 7 into 5 is 35, 9 4 is 36. So I have compared this, these two and I am getting the result that 36 is greater than 35. 36 is on the right side. So out of these two, the right one will be greater. So 9 by 5 is greater than 11 by 7. So that is the first result. Now I will compare 9 by 5 and 11 by 7. Now out of 9 by 5 and 11 by 7, 9 7 is 63 and 11 5 is 55. So I have 63 as the greater which is on the left hand side here. So out of these two, this one is greater. So I will put a sign like this greater. Now you see 9 by 5 is greater than 7 by 4 and 9 by 5 is also greater than 11 by 7. So I have 9 by 5 as the greatest fraction and now the third comparison will be very very easy. Just see 7 and 7, 49, 11 and 4, 44. So on the left side we have the larger product. So the left side 7 by 4 will be greater than 11 by 7. So here we have 7 by 4 as the second fraction and 11 by 7 as the third fraction. So this is the result of this arrangement in descending order. Let's have the final question then you can practice this trick yourself also. See this first comparison of the first two fractions. So 1 into 11 is 11 and 3 into 6 is 18. So see the product here on the right hand side the product is more. So out of these two the right hand fraction is greater. So this is greater. 3 by 11 is greater than 1 by 6. Now compare the second and the third. So 3 and 12 is 36, 7 and 11 is 77. So on the right hand side we have the greater product. So out of these two right hand side 7 by 12 will be greater than 
3 by 11. So this is greater. Now we don't know whether you know 1 by 6 is greater or 7 by 12 is greater but we know one fact here that 3 by 11 is greater than this but it is smaller than this. So 3 by 11 will come obviously in the middle. So I will write 3 by 11. Now I just need to compare the first one and the last one. Now let us see if this will come on the left hand side or this will come on the left hand side. For that comparison do that process all over again 1 into 12 is 12, 7 into 6 is 42. So on the right hand side we have the greater product. So right hand side that is 7 by 12 will be greater than 1 by 6 and 7 by 12 is all, all, uh, already greater than 3 by 11. So this is the greatest which will come first 7 by 12 and 3 by 11 is greater than 1 by 6. So 1 by 6 will come at the end thereby giving you the response or the answer that 7 by 12 is the greatest followed by 3 by 11 and then by 1 by 6. I am sure this method is going to help you a great deal in solving many of your problems of rational numbers and the method of converting all the fractions into decimals is going to consume a lot of time whereas this method is a paperless method just by observation of the three fractions you can judge which is the greatest which is the smallest and which will come in the middle. In my subsequent videos, I'll consider four or five fractions also. So keep your watching and if you like all these videos, do share it with all those who are preparing for competitions and especially with the junior students. And if you have not done till now, do not forget to subscribe the channel.